So today we are going to create a movie scrapping application using ChatGTP. We shall be scrapping Movies, the biggest pirated movie database on the internet. We shall start by asking ChatGTP to break down the problem for us. Type the following. Outline the steps I need to go through to create a fully functional Python application that will scrap a movie website. As you can see ChatGTP is breaking down the problem for us and creating steps one by one. Now we are going to feed these steps into ChatGTP, guiding it into what we want. Step one is to identify a movie site. Our site is fmovies.to. The next step is to inspect its HTML code to see what we need. From the HTML code, we shall need a movie link title and image thumbnail links. We have already set up our development environment. This is just simple. It tells you to install Python on your computer if you haven't already done so. Now the next step is to install the necessary libraries. Let us as ChatGTP help us install the necessary libraries. Type the following command in ChatGTP. Install the necessary Python libraries and modules. You will likely need to install the request library to make HTTP requests to the website and the beautiful soup library to parse the HTML of the website. ChatGTP is now guiding us on the process. Follow the steps listed. Let us open the command line interface and start installing the libraries. Just copy the codes as provided to you and paste in the command line. On my side, I have already installed them, which is why I'm getting these errors. Let us now proceed to ChatGTP and follow the steps. As ChatGTP the following command. Using the above code of importing libraries, add the following and give a single updated code. Write a Python script to send an HTTP request to the movie website and retrieve the HTML content. As you can see, it is generating the code for us. Let us ask it to repeat the code and in this time should include our website link which is fmovies.to. Now chat GTP is updating the code with our website included. This data is going to be saved in an HTML file, but you can as well save it in other formats like JSON Notation, Microsoft Excel, CSV, etc. We're going to save our code in an HTML format. Let us type the following in chat GTP. Update the following code with some HTML display. Now chat GTP is updating our code again to include the output. Let us copy the code and save it in a file movie.py. Now let us open the command line and test our application. As you can see, we have gotten a very long list of data scrap from FMovie's website. This includes the movie title, link to the movie, and thumbnails. We can go ahead and copy this code and save it in an HTML document. Let us do that. Now let us run our HTML document and see the data we scrapped. As you can see, we have our data. We can proceed with chat GTP and ask more questions and we can do so much like organizing this data etc. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe for more videos.